the weekend. You will see today's topic is going to be about economic sectors. But before we're going to start with the lesson, like we normally done, let's just say hello to each other in the chat group. On that note, while well, you're busy greeting each other, um, for the rest of the week, some of the topics is going to be quite short, like the one of today. Um, but I will, I don't want to combine the different topics with each other. So I'm rather going to keep a certain topic per day. Okay, so don't worry if the lesson is a little bit short like today. Um, it's not going to be like that every day. That depends on what type the topic is going to be. Right, we, as I said, we're going to do the economic sectors. What is going to be important is you need to classify between the three different sectors. And the three different sectors is the primary, the secondary, and the tertiary sector. So what is going to happen is the following. First question will be you need to identify the three different sectors. Then the next thing will be that you need to give a small description of each of these sectors. The third thing will be that you need to give some examples. And then the fourth thing that they can do is that they can give you a case study or pictures and then you need to identify which sector is going to be involved with each of that particular pictures, for instance. So for this slide, it's just the classification or the identification of the three economic sectors, and that is going to be primary, secondary, and tertiary sector. Right, on that one, you will see still the three sectors, but what I've done here is that you need to give an overall definition of the three economic sectors. So what is basically the economic sectors? They say the activity concerned with production of goods and services and hence earning of income is known as economic activity. Economic is classified into three sectors and you already know that three sectors, primary, secondary and tertiary. So right, so what is the economic sectors? If you need to give a definition, then it is the activity concerned with the production of goods or services to make it income at the end of the day. Now we're going to take each of the sectors and we're going to look at them starting with the primary sector. Sorry about that, I know the words and the picture is not quite clear there, but I will tell you what is standing there. Um, first they say when we produce a good by exploiting natural resources, remember those words, natural resources, it is an activity of the primary sector. This is because it forms the base for all other products that we have um, subsequently marked. Cotton and milk are examples of the primary sector. And since most of the natural products we get are from agriculture, we sometimes also talk not about the primary sector, but about the agriculture sector. So first of all, the primary sector is basically all the raw materials that is necessary, the basic things that is necessary to start with an item or a product to make it. Um, examples here are going to be like fishing, mining, forestry, agriculture, etc. For instance, let's say we want to make a jersey. So what do we need? What is the basic needs that we uh, need for that jersey? We're going to need wool. Wool is coming from the sheep. So the sheep and the wool is basically then going to be our primary sector here. Okay, as I said, Emmanuel, I know it's not quite clear there, but um, I have to read it for you. And just remember what I said, that the primary sector is all the natural resources or the raw materials that is needed um, to start a product or to manufacture something. Okay, we're going to repeat this all the time now. So if we're going on to the next one, that is your secondary sector, the economic activities which are related to the manufacturing process, for example, manufacturing of steel, 
falls on a secondary sector. So right, so we have taken that wool from the sheep, that is the primary sector. Now we're going to make the jersey. So we're going to make the product or the item in the fabric and that is our secondary sector. So anything that you're going to make to a finished product in the fabric forms part of the secondary sector. And then the third one is the tertiary sector. They say there this sector is a sector that transports and distributes goods to retailers or wholesalers. Okay, so this is when you take that finished item and you go in to send it off to the different shops or to the um, wholesalers or to the retailers. So to distribute it, to send it off um, to the different shops, that forms part of your tertiary sector. Right, so let's take another example. Let's say we want to make a table out of wood, furniture. So what do we need for that table? We need wood. Wood is going to be your primary sector. Then we're going to make that table. We're going to manufacture that table in the fabric to get a finished product that will be the table at the end of the day. So that will be your secondary sector. And then with that finished table, we're going to then to distribute it to the different shops, to the furniture shops like Russell's or Bears, or even any other wholesaler, macro, whatever. And those places or for the distribution of that, that will be forming part of the tertiary sector. Right. Um, there you guys, you will see I've put an example there for you. Um, I've put a picture of potatoes, a packet of Simba chips and a shop there. So what I want you guys to do is I want you to identify the different sectors by looking at these pictures. Okay. So don't put it now in the chat box, please. Okay, wait. Look at the pictures and then you identify by yourself and then we will talk through these pictures to say which sectors are involved. So right, you see the picture of the potatoes? The potatoes, if necessary, to make the Simba chips. So the potatoes will be the example of the primary sector. So the potatoes is your natural resources, your raw materials. Then the packet of Simba chips will form part of the secondary sector because that is the product that, that you have made, the finished item. And then the picture of the shop will be then an example of the tertiary sector. Why? Because the packet of chips was distributed now to the different shops or wholesalers um, so they can sell it at the end of the day. Right. I want to ask you the following question. I don't know if you guys will know this, but let's give it a chance. Um, you get a, a can of what we call bully beef, okay, um, in the shops. It's normally having a red label with some kind of animal at the front of it. Um, so again, that can of will it be, what will you guys, and you can put it in the chat box now, what will you guys say is going to be the primary sector? I know not all of you is going to know what we're talking about now. So I actually trying to test you guys to see um, what we're going to get as answers here. So let's see, what will be the primary sector for that can of bully beef. Right, I don't think you guys know what I'm talking about, but yes, depending on what flavor it is going to be, but normally it will be a cow, okay, 
or so you get the meat from the cow or you also get the um, pork flavor so then of course it will be the pig that is going to be the picture of the animal on the label so either it doesn't matter if it's a cow or the pig okay so the animal will be the primary sector then when they have put that meat in that can okay so the meat in that can that will be our final product so that will be our secondary sector and then the tertiary sector will then be the shops where it's going to be sell let's say checkers shop right we can buy whatever right there i've just given you some more examples regarding the three different sectors you will see the first one the primary sector i've mentioned the fishing farming mining the next one is saying manufacturing or that is your secondary sector car factory brewery flour mill you can think for yourself the um a car factory so all the things that you need the steel whatever you need for a car that is your primary sector but when they really manufacture the car in the fabric like at a Volkswagen fabric or uh, is this a factory then that will be your secondary um, sector and the third one is saying, saying the service sector that will be your tertiary sector and examples there is banking, retail shops, restaurants, wholesalers, etc. Right, so um, I want, before we go on now, think again about another example. Let's use the example of sunglasses, for instance. Okay, you put it, can put it now in the chat box. What will you think will be then the primary sector? of the sunglasses so what will be that raw materials or that natural resources that you're going to need for the sunglasses Okay, boy, Jamelia is giving me an answer there, but what I'm asking is what will be the primary sector for sunglasses? So what do you need for sunglasses? What materials do you need? Okay, right, in this case, I must tell you, depending on what type of sunglasses you're going to have, right, there's boy, Jamelia saying glass. Okay, some of the sunglasses is from glass, made out of glass, so that's right. Some of them are made out of plastic, so then you're going to need plastic. Depending on the frame, some of the frames will be like a steel frame. Okay, so yeah, depending on what type of sunglasses or normal glasses you will wear, um, will depend on what the raw materials will be, but it will be either like glass or um, plastic or steel or something like that. Of course, the sunglasses itself okay, will be the product, so that will be the, uh, manufactured, and that is then your secondary sector, and then by selling it in different shops, that will be forming part of your tertiary sector, because it was distributed to the different shops. Right. Um, let, I'm just thinking of another one that we can use as an example. Okay, let's say we think of a, a pair of Nike tickets, a pair of Nike tickets. So again, what will you guys say will be the primary sector of the Nike tickets? What will be the primary sector of the Nike tickets? So see for yourself a pair of Nike tickets in front of you. Okay, we, you get different types of Nike tickets, but again, overall, you're going to need, right, there's somebody saying now leather and it's it can be leather, it can be the fabric basically that you're going to need, the rubber for instance. Um, yeah, so anything to make that techie that you're going to need, that will be forming part of your primary sector. The techie itself to manufacture it, of course, will be forming part of the secondary sector. And then the tertiary sector will then be the shops where 
the nitrate take is, is going to be salt. Right, look at this example that I've given you then. And that is an example of a pencil. So how you're going to make the pencil? I'm going to give you a few seconds and you can just go through that. I will also go through it, but just look at it. Right, so you guys will see there is the primary level, okay, or the primary sector. So that is your natural resources that you need to make the pencil. It's going to be wood, graphite, rubber, and metal. Then on the secondary level, I say they're putting the different resources that make up the pencil together at the factory. So this is basically is when you're really actually going to make the pencil, the full pencil with the eraser at the back. And then at the bottom left, it's saying tertiary level sectors, selling the pencil to the consumers. So this is where you're going to sell it to the different shops. And then you will see there's another level or sector there. They talk, they talk about the quaternary level. Okay, just hang on. Okay, they talk about the quarterly level there, not one that you guys really need to know by now. But um, this is just for interesting uh, shape. They say there that the CEO, the leader of the pencil company, researching and developing new types of pencils and better ways of making pencils. So basically what the quarterly level is all about is after that the pencil is already in the shops to be sell, then the leader of that company or that factory can decide to make a different pencil, a new pencil, be creative, something that's maybe strange at the end of the day. Okay? So, but you guys don't have to know this. You just have to know the three different levels that is going to be the primary level, the secondary level, and the tertiary level. Right, so basically guys, you will see that was actually it for today. So what is important here is that you need to know the three different levels, the primary level, the secondary and the tertiary level. And then you need to know examples of each one and the short description of each one. So basically that's it. I'm just going back to the slide so you guys can see. All right, so remember there we have done the classification of the three sectors, the primary, secondary, and tertiary sector. And then, okay, that was just our overall definition of the economic sectors. And then we have taken each of these sectors with a short description and examples of each one. Especially remember this example, people, this is a good one to remember. And then we have looked at more examples of the three sectors. And then we have looked at the pencil one as well. But you can take any product. And from any product, you need to identify the three different sectors. So if you look at the product, then you must tell yourself what will be the primary sector, what will be the secondary sector, and what will be the tertiary sector. All right. So people, basically, that's it for today. 
So I know it was sweet and short, but as I say, I don't want to combine a new topic now, so I'd rather stick different days with the different topics. Okay. Any questions? I will look out in the box for that. All right, just to indicate to you guys as well, and nobody asked, so I'm just telling you guys, um, I moved over the weekend, actually from one province to another, so it's quite a little bit messy here at my side. So um, I haven't got the chance to mark your assessments of last week, but I promise you guys, as soon as I've marked it, um, I will got to go, uh, get in contact privately with each one regarding their mark. Just bear with me, please, for a few days. So I can a little bit sort everything on my side out. All right. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Then we will talk tomorrow again. All right. See you guys again. Um, okay. Just last question. Sorry. I see somebody's asking if you're going to write again. Oh, you all. I think it's on the 28th of July. So it's not this week. Next week you're going to write. You will see it is on that um, list of yours. But people, it's going to be so easy and so short. Um, it's really going to be short, short questions that you're going to be answered, not those long um, assessments that you have done where you have basically have done a full activity or a lot of general ledger accounts, for instance, or a combined activity of the journals. Not like that, it won't be. You are done with that. So the ones that you're going to do is going to be very, very short questions. Okay, but I will talk to you again a little bit nearer to the time regarding that small test. Okay. All right, people, thank you very much. See you guys tomorrow. Have a great evening. Goodbye.